In addition to all the science going on at CERN, there is also a thriving extracurricular programme. This is no doubt inspired by the strong sense of community and the fact that people come from all over the world to share their ideas and their culture. I'm CERN's first appointment um, for the arts, um, which is absolutely extraordinary for a particle physics laboratory to actually appoint somebody to head up an arts programme. If you look at the whole history of the Renaissance, arts and science were absolutely on an equal level. And I think it's absolutely time now to have a contemporary Renaissance and literally go back to create the future. And that's what we can do at CERN. CERN, we have the world's largest accelerator. Uh, we have the largest um, cultural group of people. There are 65 different countries around the world. It's the most exciting time <laughs> and place in its history. So I can't think of anywhere more inspirational or more exciting for some of the great artists of our time, and by great I mean established, but also young, emerging, innovative artists who have the excellence of CERN scientists to come here and engage with the inspirational and amazing things which are happening here. Because the scientists here are very, very creative, very, very engaged in other things other than particle physics. Thanks. We have world-renowned artists who are our creative patrons. So Anthony Gormley, who's donated an extraordinary sculpture in recognition of the effect particle physics has had on um, uh, his work. So these spirally tubes or trunks, they're supposed to be the limbs of, of his body. Then. It's like that, that could be his leg or his arm or something. Yep, or that could be his head, or that could be his head over there. It's all about fields of perception. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Where you place your vision and what you see in your imagination, that's the body. And that, that was always his intention, or is that just the way that it's turned out? Was it supposed to be inspired by the ideas of quantum physics, or is it just coincidence that he's also, he also thinks in that way? Absolutely, he thinks in terms of quantum physics and fields of perception. Yeah.